Another day at BG Customs, guys. We were putting some more work in on the Cummins. Uh, today, I'm kind of just following up uh, with what I said in the last video that I uploaded two days ago, how we're working around the fenders, uh, like in front of the, the, uh, the headlights, up the door jam, around the taillights, all that good stuff. Uh, we are just catching up on that work. I have my buddy Brandon with me, not to be confused with the other Brandon, BG. He lives in my apartment complex and he just wanted to get the feel and the just things of like, uh, you know, sanding it down, getting, doing body work and just in, in the automotive field, he's really interested. He, he's uh, going to be getting a uh, car here soon and he's just wanting to learn that stuff. So you guys might see him in and out of uh, videos. Uh, obviously, Brandon is going to be in and out of the video, but we're just going to get this uh, simple stuff done today and get this thing ready for primer this weekend because it is 100% go Saturday or Sunday. We're going to be putting this thing in the booth to prime it and get it uh, out of my hair. So enjoy, guys. What's up guys? So uh, right now, we're uh, pretty much going over the entire truck. Uh, earlier this morning, we, uh, or I guess this afternoon, we did a bunch of work on the fender. Uh, this, is, this is what I was talking about this morning. I gotta make it quick. Is that music in the background. Uh, but this is uh, pretty much what we wanted to clean up around the headlights, around the fender. I still gotta block this area. And uh, I, I wanna block the back end and I'm standing around the tailgate, or the, uh, the rear tail light and uh, along the bed. So. That's pretty much what we're doing. Uh, my buddy Brandon behind the camera right now, shout out to him. He's gonna just film a little bit here and there. Nothing too crazy guys, so we're gonna get to work. So we've been standing all along uh, the side of the bed back here, uh, not up next to the tail light just yet. I'm obviously gonna pull that out. I meant this general area. The reason why I'm kind of going over the entire truck right now, I didn't explain that in the last clip, is Brandon's gonna come back over and all these small little dents and dings and stuff, we're gonna either uh, glaze over them, try to pull them, wh whatever is necessary or, or whatever needs to be done for these small little dents. The fender has some of them too up here. See right there and right here. So we're probably just gonna fill those a little bit, sand it down. Um, fill this one to you, sand it down and most likely for the rear because they're nothing major just rock chips and stuff from you know being 20 some odd years old so we're gonna get this side done today that's the game plan just getting this side all bonded up all these dents and dings filled up and tomorrow I'm coming back over which is Friday we're gonna work on <clears throat> this side I've already pulled the headlight out. I didn't show you guys that this morning. It might have been in the earlier clip but I pulled this headlight out this morning and got all around in here in, inside the headlight so when we go to paint all we have to do is pull the headlight out double check the the area prep it clean it and so on and so forth so we're gonna do that same thing with this side tomorrow pull the headlight out sand all around here because this still has some of the factory clear and you can see where I've written on it and circled it and it just it just needs to be done so we're gonna do that side tomorrow along with this door and just pretty much prep everything like I said in the beginning a hundred percent to prime it this weekend so either Saturday or Sunday she's just gonna be ready to go straight in for a nice gray primer and then she'll be up for sale for one of you guys or somebody else to buy but little by little she's almost done she looks awful right now it's so tacky looking driving around like this oh and I've also removed the front bumper goodness gracious I've also removed the front bumper that might just hang out overnight here so I can show up tomorrow morning and start sanding all this stuff by hand. We're gonna prime that also but leave the grill black with the honeycombs in there because that doesn't really need much sanding. Maybe uh, I don't know uh, 180 grit, a 320 or heck even uh, some like uh, scotch bright or something. So that is the game plan now guys. You uh, are all caught up. I'm gonna finish up my little areas. Brandon ran up to the store real quick. Once he gets back, he's gonna help me fill these in. And then I'll probably wrap up for today and see you guys tomorrow, so. Yes, sir.
So ignore that train, but we got Bondo here on the back. This had a bunch of rock dings and chips in it, so bonded it over, gonna glaze it over, just kinda fill up all those little dings and sand it down. Brandon's working on the front right now. Doing some body work and one of Brandon's buddies rolled up here. Nice Silverado. Some stance for you guys since I'm lacking in that department at the moment. It's another day in the books over here at BG's. Uh, the truck is slowly but surely coming out to be a fantastic looking truck. The body is looking phenomenal. It's coming out really, really straight. It kind of makes me want to paint it, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not giving in. Somebody else can paint it. Somebody can buy it. I'll show you guys real quick, and then uh, I'm going to be getting on back to the house, eat some dinner, shower, and then uh, I'll obviously be back here tomorrow morning to continue some more work and continue filming. But let me show you this stuff real quick, guys, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Everybody say what's up to Brandon. Oh, uh, we're just closing out the video. Oh. Shit. So shout out to my buddy Brandon right here. He was helping me out. Anytime, anytime, so, anytime. If you guys need any work done, give us a holler. My buddy Brandon can do it. I'm gonna show you guys real quick, like I said, one more time, and then I'm going to the house. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We have that spot that he bundled up in the last video. And now we have these spots here. And we have one spot we have to fix tomorrow, right there. We just gotta fix that. It chipped a little bit, but that's not a big deal. This is looking pretty good so far. We just gotta fix that one spot and she's golden. The bed is uh, completely sanded down. Everything has been glazed. We're gonna do one more look over before we prime it. Oh, wow, look at that. I saved myself. Shout out to my YouTube video for filming. Here's the other side, you guys can tell the difference. It's looking pretty awful over here. But all right, see you guys tomorrow. We've been putting work in this afternoon, guys. As you can see, the entire driver's side of the truck has been sanded down with 180. It's super, super smooth, ready for primer. It has one little dent in the fender right there that we have to pull out, and then uh, we'll be 100% for this side. The hood is done. I've got to do a little bit more on the roof, and then that'll be done, but right now I'm working on the tailgate. This is the tailgate that was on the bed that you guys have seen throughout. Uh, most of the, the videos and stuff that I filmed. I originally had a blue tailgate that came with the bed that I was going to use, but I will show you guys why we're not using it. So if you look back in the playlist, you can see that I sanded down this tailgate like forever ago, and this is the one that I was going to use. The reason why I'm not going to use it is you can see that giant chip of Bondo. We, uh, we saw it when we started sanding down the bumper, or excuse me, the tailgate back in Colorado but I wasn't 100% sure on the situation and what, what all it was gonna take to fix it. But this is really deeper, or this is really deeper. This is a lot deeper than we thought and it's cracking. So we re just really don't know like the condition of this tailgate. We're gonna opt for this one as you guys see that the clear coat has been, uh, you know, stripped or starting stripped. That's what I've been working on for the past 20 minutes or so. After that, guys, we're gonna be uh, throwing this guy onto the truck, fixing that dent, and going over just the last little bit of things, and then tomorrow we'll be back up here tomorrow night to tape off everything and get it ready for primer. Here's the tailgate, guys. She has uh, been cleaned up with 180, just about done. You guys are starting to get this point. It's getting, you know, Pretty repetitive here. Everything is all sanded down. Tomorrow evening, we're gonna come in, take the taillights out, sand up around the edge of the bed, and that should be it. The reason why I'm not gonna pull them out today is because I'm gonna drive the truck home tonight, bring it up here tomorrow afternoon. We'll prep it, tape it off, roll it into the shop, I'll ride home uh, tomorrow night, and then I will most likely come back tomorrow morning to spray her down with primer. So regarding on what I said in that last clip, guys, this video is getting pretty repetitive. You guys obviously get the point that the truck's going in for primer. It's 90% of the way done. I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop so you guys know what's going on. Sunday, it'll be in there. We'll spray it down. You guys will get this, 
the final finale of this video series because I'm gonna be done with this truck when it's primed. I no longer am interested in it when it's primed. Why do you ask? Because I want to drift, I want a 240. This truck was meant to be a little flipper, to make some money off of it, and that's exactly what I plan to do. I spent a little more money moving uh, across the country than I anticipated, especially with going up to North Carolina and visiting family and grabbing my furniture, but that's a whole nother story. So this thing's gonna go and be one color Sunday, and you guys get to see that then. So if you're new to the channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. We have tons of more footage coming up. I might be buying this Cummins that's right here, and maybe doing a little flip project slash paint project with it, towing with it. Just kind of something, I don't know, maybe for the channel. It all depends, it's up in the air. But thank you guys, really, really do appreciate it. If you're a returning subscriber, hit that like button, drop a comment, let me know what you think. If there's anything that I need to work on, anything that you guys wanna see, just let me know. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys Sunday.